Hey guys, it's me here. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join this little book growing family. Also, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you are enjoying these videos and I'll go ahead and create more content like this one. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so for today's video, we are gonna be reviewing a bunch of Maybelline products that I picked up recently. What I really wanted to do was go in and get the stick foundation by Maybelline, but the couple of stores that I have been going into recently haven't had my shade, which is weird, because normally they have my shade in the store. My shade in Maybelline foundation is 355 Coconut. They always have 355 Coconut in stock, in store, wherever I go, like in my area. But when I went into uh, I think I went into like Walmart, I went into Target, I went into Harmons, and they only had about like seven shades out. And they just didn't have my my shade in store, and I didn't want to order anything online because I like the satisfaction of buying it then and there and having it already. I get, I'm too impatient with online shopping. So the few things that I did pick up while I was in store are these things here. And this one is the Master Blur Stick, which is, it's like a primer. It's a pore minimizing tinted primer. You can get a universal shade, which is just like clear. But this one is in the shade 130 Medium Tan. I'm hoping that it kind of matches me. With this one, you're supposed to be able to use it as a primer. So you can put it under foundation or you can use it on its own to just kind of give your face that smooth and minimized pore and just all over even look. So we'll go ahead and test that out and see if that works. And then next up, I picked up this Maybelline Lemonade Craze Foundation Palette. This I haven't really heard too much of. When I happened to be in the store looking for the foundation stick, I happened to see this palette. Um, and I thought it was really cute. I love the colors in it. I really was drawn to the colors in here because it's very summery. It's got like a little pop of yellow and this nice pink in here. Lots of shimmers. So I thought this would be really cute to create like a nice fun summer look. And the last thing that I bought was... Um, what is this? Oh, Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner, which is just the basic felt tip liquid eyeliner. And as you can see, I already have my brows filled in, and I did go in and use my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. I do have a review on this uh, pen if you guys are interested. I will have that linked up here. You guys can go ahead and check that video out after you watch this one. All right, so first off, I'm going in with the blur stick, and let's see. Um, am I supposed to like just use my hands and blend it in? I'm not really sure. So that's what I'm just gonna go ahead and do. That's what I do with my normal primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it in. I mean, as far as the tintedness and the color, I think it's an okay match. I'm hoping I don't blend too much into my background. My yellow undertones are something serious. I hope I'm not looking ashy. I feel like I feel like it's an okay match, but I don't know if I would be able to just wear this on its own because it would make me look a little bit weird. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay so far. I feel like it's doing what it's supposed to. I guess the real test would see how it performs once I put my foundation on. All right, so now we're going to go ahead into the Lemonade Craze palette. I'm just going to go ahead and show you a few swatches going into Lemonade Craze, which is this yellow one, and there is a little bit of powderiness um, that's picking up once I go ahead and just swatch it. I don't know about this, guys. But it, it's coming up kind of patchy and kind of powdery and just, uh, I don't know, it's not looking good. Now we're gonna go into Coral Punch. It's just this light pink one right here. Both powdery. Not much punch with the pigmentation. Let's go into Ice Pop, which is this, um, like a deeper pink color. Ooh, that's pretty. I can already tell that this is going to be the most pigmented out of the bunch. That's what that color looks like. I'm going to go in with Sugar Coated, which is down here. So based on the swatches, I don't know if I'm going to be liking this palette. Like the pigmentation has to be there or at least it's got to try. 
Okay, so just to apply like an all over and transition color, I'm going to go in with Sweet Tea, which is this color right here. And wow, it's very, very powdery. I'm going to go ahead in with Ice Pop in the crease. I hope you guys can see that. Maybe I'll bring you in a little bit closer. There's some color there. It's not as popping as I would want it to be, as I would like it to be. But you just gotta go ahead and keep building it up to get the color that you're looking for. So I turned down my brightness just a little bit so you guys can see the actual true color. I felt like the, the my lights were just a little too bright. Actually, the lighting on my camera was a little too bright. So I turned that down just a teeny bit so you guys can kind of see the color on here. I mean, it's cute, but it's just not popping. You know what I mean? I was going to try to go in with the yellow uh, lemonade craze on my eye, but I just tested it out on my hand, and that's not even going to be, it's not going to be worth it. It does not even show up on my hand. So we're just going to go ahead and skip that. But I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm, I'm holding it upside down. So this is at the bottom, and this is called Sugar sugar coated. I'm going to go ahead and with that all over my lid. Wow. That's really pretty. I really like that color. That's a beautiful color, sugar coated. And this is just going in with a dry brush. I didn't spray it with like any setting spray or anything like that. I don't have Fix Plus or anything like that. This is uh, just my dry eyeshadow brush. Now I'm going to go in with this color right here, this brown color at the bottom, uh, which is called Old Fashioned. Okay, now for my inner corner highlight, I'm not sure if I want to go in with Main Squeeze up here or Citrus down here. I feel like maybe I'll go with Main Squeeze because it's a lighter shimmer. And that'll kind of contrast with this copper shimmer I got going on. So we're just going to go in with this brush here and apply this on the inner corner. I'm going to use my uh, Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. But I'm just going to go ahead and create a very, very thin line, which is just going to help conceal the lash band a little bit more. Yeah, it's very, uh, I don't know if you can see that there. It's very pigmented, like right out the bat. Like usually when I go in with felt tip lip uh, lip liners, when I usually go in with felt tip eyeliners, I kind of like to have to press down for the product to flow to the to the tip of the pen, but it's already there and yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes. As you can see, the product is coming out with little to no effort and this is only using the tip of the pen usually I'd have to like lay it flat and use the base part of it to get more of the product out but I'm only using the tip <gasps> oh my god something always happens something always happens Voila, right? Like it never happened. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, put my lashes, mascara, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back with my lashes. If you guys are interested in which lashes I put on, they are the Ardell Wispies. I have two colors here that I'm gonna choose from, either a corally color or a pink nude color. <laughs> mm, I think I'm gonna go in with this nude pink color. So the color that I'm going to go in with is a matte color number 550 in Honey Pink. Alright guys, so this is the final look with all of the products that I used today. I do have to say, as far as the Master Blur Stick, I think it's okay. 
I really do see that it works well underneath my Maybelline foundation. My skin really does look smooth and blur. I don't know if it's mainly because of this or because the foundation is full coverage and it's already great on its own but it didn't hurt my foundation application as you can see it still looks flawless and it still looks smooth so I'm very pleased with this I will say I won't be wearing this on its own only because I feel like the I got it in a, a 130 medium tan it kind of matches my skin a little bit but I feel like if I wear it on its own it will be a little bit too ashy to wear by itself so underneath the foundation it works great as far as this palette um, the matte colors in here like the yellow this yellow color is trash I'm just being honest this yellow color is not coming up at all on my skin tone uh, these really light colors in the palette I don't tend to go for because they look chalky and ashy on my skin tone so the only colors in here that really are worth anything is this really pink one right here which is called ice pop sugar coated is bomb it's what I have on my lids it's really pigmented I went in with this without wetting my brush with any setting spray first so this is on a dry brush and the, the pigmentation is awesome um, as for the shimmer or highlight shades main squeeze and citrus they're cute as well you know I didn't use it all over the eyes but I used it um, in the inner corner of my eyes I went in with main squeeze for the uh, inner corner highlight and you know it's it's there it's really cute I really do like how that turned out but I really wouldn't go out and spend my money on this I really don't remember how much this cost the lemon craze palette I got from Harmons for $10.99 so $11 for the palette I feel like you can get a better palette from Colourpop or BH Cosmetics Milani even Wet n Wild but this one I feel like you can skip out on because it's not that worth it as for the eyeliner as you can see I just went in with the eyeliner to give my uh, lashes a little bit more depth like I said as I was applying it I do like how the product comes out immediately I don't have to lay it flat or drag it from the bottom of the applicator I can use it right from the tip and a lot of product is already right there ready to use and flows very nicely other than the negative of the palette all of the other products that I did use were up to par. They were decent um, for the price that you're paying. It is drugstore and it just it gets the job done except that palette. But you know, <laughs> you do what you can with what you have. Yeah, and I do like how the look turned out. If you guys like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Um, have you tried any of these products? What were your thoughts on it? If you'd like to see me try anything from the drugstore or anything that you've uh, come across that you were interested in seeing how it works out, let me know down below and I will do a review for you guys. And do not forget to subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.